What up, what up, that's the number squad, and welcome back, guys. It's your boy Sean. And your girl, Mel. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, SM squad. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys, hey, if you're having a rough day, let's turn around right now with some good energy and some good content, all right? So, my lovely wife, what we got today, babe? All right, baby. Yeah. Today, we'll be reacting to Maui Emergency Chief Resigns Admit Outrage over wildfire responses. Someone resigned? Uh -oh. Wow, the chief resigned the chief. because of the outrage over the responses. Ah. Because the wildfire response team didn't, maybe they didn't respond as quickly as they should have. Wow. And people in Maui are outraged. And they should be. And he couldn't take the heat. Someone got to be. Held I don't know. It um, sounds like that with this title. So let's get into this. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell so you guys can know fire. Here we let's go. go. Good energy, good content. Bam. Let's see what we got, guys. Prayers going out to my own. Yes, prayers. Here we go. Oh. Well, we turn to Hawaii, where the head of Maui's emergency management agency has resigned. Herman Andaya has faced criticism for choosing not to sound the warning sirens when the deadly fires broke out. He says he was concerned that... Wait a minute. What in the world? He, he made that choice? Not to send out the warning? Why not send out the alarm warning? What in the world? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's, let's How go. can he justify this, though? Okay. Let's Hold go. On. Let's see, babe. Here we go. Well, we turn to Hawaii, where the head of Maui's emergency management agency has resigned. Herman Andaya has faced criticism for choosing not to sound the warning sirens when the deadly fires broke out. He says he was concerned that residents would confuse the alarms for a tsunami warning. Officials say he is resigning due to health reasons. In a wow. statement, Maui's mayor says, quote, health given the reasons. gravity of the crisis we are facing, my team and I will be placing someone in this key position as quickly as possible. CBS News producer Elizabeth Campbell joins us now from Maui. So. Elizabeth, what more do we know about Andaya's resignation and a potential replacement? Well, good to be with you, Lana. We know that there was a growing frustration that was becoming a more vocal frustration from residents here after he gave that press conference this week when he said he did not regret his decision not to sound the alarms. Many people said that any sort of warning would have given them just a heads up that they needed to have some sort of emergency to prepare for, whether that was a wildfire or a tsunami. So there was more and more backlash for him. Now, as you said before, we know that wow. he is signing health reasons for the reason for his resignation. He hasn't given any more details about that. We do know it is affected immediately and as the mayor said in that statement that you read they are searching to replace wow. someone as soon as possible given the gravity of the situation they are facing here on the ground well elizabeth let's talk about the search uh, officials have now covered roughly 60 percent of the burn area they still say that there's more than 1,000 people that are unaccounted for tell us the latest on the search efforts there so well, we have seen that the pace of this search is increasing. When we were talking just yesterday, it was around 40%. So we are seeing people are getting to move through this area faster. The crews are working harder and harder. I know you've been talking about the cadaver dogs who have been working hard on this. So we're seeing more and more people show up and search that area, but it just continues to be such a meticulous process to find everyone and sorting through that ash. We do know we talked to a FEMA representative who told CBS News that they're finding a lot of people in their beds and a lot of people in their cars. So there's a mix of people who were sleeping and who were trying to get out and couldn't get out in time. So this is going to continue to be a long search process. As you said, there's still a lot of people missing and they're hoping to find answers soon. All the more reason why there's so much outrage over the lack of those emergency signals. Uh, Elizabeth, let's talk about President Biden because he's preparing to visit wow. Maui on Monday. What do people there say that they hope comes from the president's visit? You know, a lot of people we talk to just talk about the continuing need. I think people really want everyone to know out there that this is going to be a long process. This is going to be a long recovery. Do not forget them a week from now. And they're hoping yes, that by President Biden yes. coming on Monday, that'll draw more attention to the issue. He will see the need that they need here. There's been a lot of neighbor helping neighbor, but people also tell us that they need more from the government. So while FEMA is here on the ground making a difference, they need more monetary donations. They need more support. And 
they need people to remember them. There's going to be a lot of rebuilding that needs to happen, and that's going to be for a lot of people starting over from scratch, and they want to be able to keep their land and find a new home. So there's going to be a lot of continuous need, and they're hoping that President Biden, when he meets with the governor, when he meets with some first responders, and hopefully victims as well, he will see that that need is going to continue to happen. All right, Elizabeth, thank okay, you. Okay, yes, yes. Thank wow. you. Wow, wow. Oh my goodness. Wow, man, heart's going out. I my heart's going out to my own. My heart is broken that the chief wow, man. would make a decision like that. I don't care if it's a tsunami warning. I don't care what kind of warning it is. A warning is, a a warning, warning right? is better than no warning. Right. Any warning. Just give a warning, sir. They say the warning comes before destruction, right? So why not have this warning? So if I feel like if you're in the mindset where you don't feel bad about your decision and you still stand by the no warning decision, I feel like you should step down because you are a danger. You are a danger to your community you are a danger to Maui. You should not be the chief making decisions like that. And I understand why he stepped down for medical reasons, because that may be it's something going much. on mentally. On his heart. It's like his heart can't take it. Right. He's not in a, a good position. And then who can fill that position to come in to clean all of this stuff up? Right. Because it's like stuff everywhere. It's like, how do you do your people like that? Right. And it's like. And run. A warning. And you and he still stands by giving these people no warning. And there are maybe thousands of people who are not accounted for. They just said, you know, they don't have a total count yet. People lost their land, their homes, family members. It's just not right. Because any warning would have helped them people, even if it was one person that would have got that warning right. and could have got out. You could have saved definitely. a life. I don't understand. Opposed to not ringing the alarm and just, you know what? It is what it is. I don't want to confuse nobody with a tsunami. That doesn't make sense. The part Sound that dumb. has me baffled is that he Sound stands dumb. by his decision to do that to his people. I mean, I'm baffled. Like, I I don't understand that. It's very... It's so sad. I, I understand why his people are outraged. Completely outraged. People got to start all over from scratch, and it's going to be so hard. It's going to take years for them to get back to their natural groove that they yes. were in. And guys, um, prayers going out to these people absolutely. in Maui. Prayers Send going out. Yes. Guys. I hope that President Biden will go over there and help these people and spread more awareness of what's going on. And, you know, Give these people more than a seven hundred dollar stimulus check. Yeah. I mean, it looked like bombs were dropped over Maui. Like, yeah, I mean, it's everything is destroyed in Lahaina. Yeah. Lahaina. So. And I just want these people to get their land back, to get their homes and businesses and things back running, you know, the way that they were. Because um, I could not imagine going through this. I our imagine. families and you know our neighbors and our community without a warning gracious. and having a chief without a warning like he's the chief if he feels this way imagine what the people of Lahaina are going through it's like they feel like they've just been stabbed in the back like now just left to, to rot left to drive left to figure out a way on their own and he's like I give up wow and for him to just make that decision. It's like a cop It's out. a lot of pressure on your back to make the final decision and that, you know, this can cause people's lives. Cause That's a lot of pressure. Is... And he stands by it. So let us know what you guys think about Please, this video. Guys. Please let us know what you think. <laughs> Wouldn't you be would you or would you not be in outrage if the I chief would be curious. I would be so upset and Definitely in the outrage. Made the decision to not sound the alarm. It's not right. It's not right. Goodness gracious. Just the way they have, they warned California because there was a storm coming. I forgot the name of the storm, but.
people who are alarmed. So if they want, I think it's Hillary. Hillary. Hillary is Hillary. coming. Hillary. Hillary is That's coming. That's the name, Hillary. But there's a warning. But it's a warning. So some people are going to be safe and you know evacuate, get up out of there. I mean. It's supposed to. That's the way it's supposed to go. It's in the Bible, you know. Warning before destruction. Come on, man. And it's like, okay, we know a, a wildfire is about to happen, but we're not going to ring the bell. Everybody, every man oh, for themselves. Oh no! It's a tsunami. Don't bell. get confused. It's a tsunami warning. We can't use the tsunami warning. We have to let people, you know, face. They didn't want people scattering worst, and going in towards the fire or whatever the case may the be. The worst tragedy that could ever but happen. There's no kind of way that you can justify that. Um, a warning is a warning and everyone deserves a warning. Please, this is this is this is like a tragedy. This is a tragedy. It's it's, it's devastating, you know, for someone to just sit back and not alarm the people. So my heart goes out, our heart goes out. Two Mahana. Two Wow, guys. Go ahead and smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and also get inside the comment section. Any news that you guys want us to cover, we will be happy to cover any news on this platform, guys. All right. All right, guys. That's our time. And we are signing off. Here's your boy Sean. And your girl Mel. We about it here, y'all. Y'all be right. safe. Peace.